watched Evil Dead Rise, which I've really enjoyed, to be honest. That's it. That's my film review. That's my film review. I liked it. I thought it was very good. I wasn't expecting to like it. I was expecting a very tacky sort of remake with not much substance to it. But uh, I'll tell you, bl bl bloody, bloody brilliant uh, picture quality. Bloody fantastic. I'll I tell you what I love most about this film. And a lot of people are surprised when I tell them this. The camera angles. What's up, sis? I had the most beautiful dream. I mean, you look at the trailer and you... Perfect day. I stopped watching it first time round. All I could think about was how much I wanted. Because of the opening of it. I thought, oh, they've done too much. They've done too much too soon. That bit. That happens at the very beginning. And I, I like to be um I like to be seduced when it comes to a film. I like to be lured in. Um maybe taken for dinner first, a few drinks, um some aperitifs. Aperitifs. Um you know, it slowly, slowly, gently, gently, gently. And then get, and then we get into bed very gingerly, and we take off our clothes, and then we get down to business. I don't want any of this bang, bang, bang. Do you know what I mean? Do you have to preheat the oven before you put the turkey in, to to coin a phrase? And I felt that that's what this film did. I felt that it it grabbed me and it just pulled my trousers down, um, and just just started going you know, taking advantage of me and I didn't like it initially. I thought, you're doing too much too soon. It's popcorn logic. It's not really grounded in anything. But then someone said to me, no, you need to go back and rewatch it. So I did and I liked it. <laughs> when I was just a little girl what is this, Danny? I found it. What will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Open up now. She's great. So good, Mom. Nothing a big old kiss from you won't fix. It's funny. It's not. It's not uh, slapstick funny. It's uh, shit your pants funny. And I like that. It uh, it doesn't put. It certainly doesn't pull any punches. <laughs> that good i'd actually i would happily watch it again so um red letter media mike whatever his name is said it was felt like a sizzle reel for the director a sizzle reel for those not in the know is like a, a show reel the, the 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 direction of photography the color grade everything about it it's kind of perfect really it, it doesn't miss a note and it's all set and I, I like the fact it's all set in one building as well uh, I thought it was very atmospheric, all set in uh, the space of one night. <laughs> Old cheese grater on the back of the leg. That's a no-no. I'm getting us out of here. I promise. You'd be a good mom someday, honey bear. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know how to lie to kids. <laughs> yeah, the, and the, the characters are likeable. Um... No spoilers, but it doesn't kind of... It's not polite in terms of who gets killed and who doesn't. So that's always good. I don't like it when everyone gets out at the end. It's all a happy ending. It's just... Uh, yeah, there's nothing horrific about that. What was the other thing I was going to say? Um, yeah, there's a few modern tropes in there. A few nods to the original, like the old swooping camera kind of zooming through the woods 
at the beginning and then it's uh turns out it's a drone one kid has got a drone that he's playing around with that was quite funny there's a reference to the shining in there the elevator dropping down and there's blood comes out of it and the two there's two uh the female cat two female characters are crouched down like in the shining i don't know if anyone's aware of that uh urban myth about the shining anyone familiar with that shining elevator blood uh conspiracy no uh Elevator scene. Uh, um, um, is it this one? It might be this one. Apparently, you can pick out. It's just a, a what a fucking great film. And if you can see here and here people see you can pick out two the outlines of two bodies no is there a video that uh body dead body something in the river of blood film analysis Let's see what this guy's saying all right team everything looks good what are you saying Skip. Hey folks, Rob Ager here with another Stanley Kubrick film analysis update. All right. Uh, this one is about The Shining cool. and The River of Blood. Excellent. I did a video on this many years ago talking about uh, an object which appears to be in the uh, River of Blood scene. Yes. Uh, something seems to flop out of the elevator. Yes. And you see it there on the floor. That's it. Now when I first posted about this. There you go. There. Look at it, look at it, look at it. There. And then here as well, I think. So what I'm what I'm the point I was making is that in Evil Dead Rise, they the two female characters uh come down in the elevator and they come and they come out of the elevator with all the blood that comes out and they're both there crouching. I thought, oh that's very and you see it there on the floor. That's very cool. Now when I first posted about this uh, way back and I think it was something about 2009 2010 something like that um long time ago i posted this and i didn't give a definitive interpretation of this detail at the time um, i'm just going to skip ahead a bit because this uh, is well, first of all, it's half an hour long go over it, and i've got a game to play what is it dave riddle what's that he was some cgi special effects expert uh, not that that means he's right. Hey, mate. I'm an ex-graphic designer myself. I've got a very... Good to be back. I'm glad you're back as well. I can draw and paint things very accurately. Um, I can draw... The elevator is reflected in the glossy surfaces of the walls, the floor, and the glass, and the blood. Oh, he's going into all kinds of detail, isn't he? So, um, I'm not stupid on that front. In Dave's video... <laughs> I'm not stupid. He created a CGI reenactment talking about evil dead rise by the way claim that it was Wee man shot at if you've seen it it's very good very good um, as far as the know, kind of the, the popcorn mainstream horror big blockbuster films go yeah bl bloody bloody good film right let's see if um what's that what's this this film um, so that doesn't necessarily say anything about what the scene means. So the What's that about? That's not in the original okay, film. Okay, there you go. This isn't in The Shining. Now watch this reenactment. Look at the quality of the blood here. It's got the tiny detailed splashes that are severely lacking this in was... Dave Ridland's reenactment. Oh, so these are reenactments. Because bit... I don't remember this being in the... Um... It may have been in the deleted scenes that Kubrick, because uh, Kubrick uh, famously shoots a lot of different takes. So I think he may have just been experimenting with the in places, uh, that guy. Very, very impressively done. However, if we look again, if we look for the object in the River of Blood, it's, it's just one object. So. That's a CGI reenactment Hollywood quality style that actually supports my position 
that in the original there. footage there is an object in the river of blood. It's a ve very, very impressive uh, CGI recreation actually in the way they've expanded it going down all the halls and stuff. Okay, well I've got some very, I thought there was very two to support that concept. Two things. Uh, first of all, in the movie itself, the way it's edited, dead body faces built into the architecture of the hotel so fucking love that film doorways with windows. all time scariest horror movie it's my favorite like schools it's got to be my favorite i'll show you a couple of examples here look at those i mean that one's flesh colored what what are we looking at this one here with the shining eyes like a shining guy's skull and shining have you seen this very, this uh, prominent feature in the poster design what's sketch. he on about in the kubrick archive uh, prominent what? Eye. Schools. I'll show you a couple of examples. The kind of look is where you get these specific doorways. Doorways, doorways with windows. windows. The kind of look like schools. It's look like schools. I'll show you a couple of examples here. Look at those. I mean, that one's flesh coloured. And then you got this one here. Yeah. Shining eyes. I think they're just doors, mate, to be honest. I think they're just eyes, doors. Very, uh, prominent feature in the post. Could be wrong. May have been deliberate. In the Kubrick archives as well. So, faces built into the architecture of the hotel subliminally is there. How's everything? Is everything. Uh, how's everything with you? And also, and is, vol is the volume all right? If it's there in the movie. If it's not, so just let me know. If this elevator uh, shot, if that's intended to be uh, a symbolic face, then. I don't think it's. Oh, I see, because of the little things here, could be eyes. And that could be, um, I know, I can't see it. On there. Why can't would you have it. that? You don't just throw that in for nothing. Uh, you could just say, oh, it's just there to creep people out. Um, <clears throat> but what I suspect is that the object that falls out of the door is intended to be a dead body. Mm. And it's the body of um, Danny's imaginary friend, Thanks. Tony. We never get to see his, his oh. in the film. He gets talked about at various points. Um, and he's described as being a, like a, a little finger. Then he uses red his rum. finger to talk. Red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum. The trauma, they, they, we, we all have a split personality in that respect. I quite liked, what, what, do you, what do you call it? I quite liked uh, fucking my brain. Come on, brain. What's it called? Doctor Sleep, the uh, the Shining sequel. I thought that was pretty good. I thought they did a good job of it. Right. Evil Dead Rise. Let's look at this um, trivia and see if my theory is correct. See that that also goes to show that the IMDb rating is never usually not. Um, it's not necessarily a good yardstick. I sometimes live and die by this. I go, if it's, it's if it's below seven, I'm not I'm not fucking getting out of bed for it, mate. But um, no, it's very very good, very very good. Uh, would you rate? D how would you? I give it ten stars, ten maximum. Oh no, I don't want to sign in actually. F off. Right. Director Lee Cronin stated in an interview that six. And a half thousand liters of fake blood were used for the movie. Oof, that's a lot of blood. The blood does look pretty awesome. We put some uh, some old vintage oldies music on in the background. There, that's nice. That's nice. That is. Isn't that soothing? Not that loud, actually. Yeah. The film was originally meant to exclusively blah, 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 blah. Pizza place is called. Right, spoilers here. Let's have a look at spoilers. The sound of e Ooh. The sound of Ellie biting out a man's eyeball in the hallway is actually an audio recording of Bruce Campbell furiously biting into an apple. <laughs> Sick. So Bruce Campbell, for those of you who don't know, was in the original Evil Dead films. And he produced this, co-produced it with a few people. I thought that was uh, that was quite a nice touch. The other the other version, it's just called Evil Dead. I think that was 2013 version. 
I enjoyed. I watched it again after watching this. And I realised I'd already seen it. Uh, it was good, but I don't think it had Bruce Campbell involved in it. And it wasn't directed by this guy, Lee Cronin. It was very, very good. Ah. No way. So, I really like her, this Elisa Sutherland. So, that moment you see... Oh, God. Where she's at the door. Yes, this bit. This bit. Really reminded me of Jim Carrey. You don't look so good, Mom. Nothing a big old kiss from you won't fix. That feels like... That feels very Jim Carrey. And the original Bruce Campbell, the whole thing with the hand, funnily enough... Uh, I'm just going to assume you don't know what I'm talking about. So let's... Uh, Let's pull these videos up, baby. Campbell. Uh, Evil Dead and... Evil Dead 2. This. I'll just mute, mute uh, this fucker. All this stuff. Very slapstick. <laughs> it's all kind of sped up. <laughs> it's just, it's pure slapstick. Which, um, oh, and then he cuts it off. Cuts his own hand off. Yeah. Then he does that. He has a right old time of it. So that, uh, reminds me of... Can you, can you tell? What, can you, do you know what I'm going to say? This in it. Take a oh fucking adverts. This. The color of the pen that I hold. The color. Write it. Write it or I'll break it off. Yeah, all very slapstick, all very funny. So, she's good. Henrietta Noby. I wonder what else she's been in. She does look familiar. Oh, she's not on there. She must be on there. Where is she? Who is she? Oh, I've 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 did the wrong name. It's this one. It's her, yes. What else has she been in? Um nothing I've really seen. No. Uh. Uh. Anyway, Evil Dead Rise. It's good. I liked it. Go and watch it. Or don't. I don't care. What am I? Your mother? <laughs>